Leading politicians from northeastern region have admitted that the clash in Wajir is continuing, partly due to a standoff between two political groups. A group of politicians from Wajir South have accused Deputy Speaker Farah Malim of blocking all attempts to resolve border conflicts, claims that Malim has strongly denied. According to nominated MP Mohamed Afei and Wajir South MP Mohamed Sirat, the border dispute between Lagdera and Wajir South constituencies should be blamed on Lagdera Member of Parliament. This aggression from Lagdera into Wajir South was facilitated in my view by the inaction of government and the influence of the deputy speaker of the National Assembly who is a member of parliament for Lagdera. I am personally disheartened by the position the political leadership of Lagdera has taken, particularly the deputy speaker. But speaking to KTN, deputy speaker dismissed the allegations saying while those accusing him had pitched camp in Nairobi and speaking to the press, he, together with Northeastern PC Ernest Muni and County Commissioner Mali Mohammed, were on the ground facilitating peace. He further said that those accusing him had abandoned peace talks without giving reasons and had him wait for them for over four hours at an Nairobi hotel last week without showing up. The deputy speaker admitted there was a boundary dispute but wondered how they will be able to resolve the issue if one side is in Nairobi addressing the press and the other on the ground. The government has imposed a down-to-dusk curfew in the area with fear that a revenge attack from Wajir South on Lagdera may occur. It is very saddening and indeed very unfortunate that eight days after that incident, even with all the information, the intelligence information that the office of the president at the provisional level had, that no arrests have been made so far. In Wajir, local religious leaders who were meeting early Sunday condemned the violence and lay blame entirely on the politicians, saying they have lived in harmony ever since. Haya, nafikiri, ni shida imeletwa na wanasiasa wa watu wachache ambayo wako na mambo yao binafsi. The Wajir conflict is a spillover of Mandera clashes where 11 people were killed, dozens seriously injured, and hundreds displaced. According to the Kenya Red Cross Society, the security situation in Tana River, Mandera, and Wajir is now under control, but a humanitarian crisis looms. In Wajir, you have people moving out of the town center, apart from those being hosted by the police, they are moving out to go to live with other people. So it's been very difficult going door to door, house to house, to do this assessment. He called on different organizations to volunteer food, staff, and sleeping materials. Aaron Ochen, KTN, Sunday night.